Alan McGregor's arrival at Rangers fires me up to prove I'm no one for Scotland, says Craig Gordon. In an age when an all-seeing eye seems to cast its gaze across the globe, being out of sight and out of mind is nigh on impossible. Alan McGregor was hardly likely to fall off the face of the earth in a football sense when he joined Hull City five years ago. Without question, though, the goalkeeper's decision to return to Rangers this summer significantly increases his visibility in the game. The implications for Craig Gordon are clear. For all players selection for their national team ought to be based purely on form and ability, there is no question that playing for the bigger clubs in the land of their birth does their chances no harm whatsoever. As wrong as that may seem, McGregor keeping a string of clean sheets for Rangers simply has more currency than him doing likewise in the English Championship. It's just the way it goes. Gordon needs no one to spell out this scenario for him. When hostilities resume in a few weeks, the return of a familiar face across the city may well have serious implications for his ambitions of retaining the Scotland no one jersey. Alan signing for Rangers puts him in the public eye a bit more, said the 35-year-old Celtic keeper. In the bottom half of the championship, nothing much really gets reported up here. Whether he had a good or bad game, nobody would really notice. Up here, there will be more scrutiny either good or bad. People will look at him. We will wait and see, but it definitely will be a talking point as we are both in the same league now. People will be able to compare us, but it won't change our relationship at all. We will be absolutely fine. The competition is brilliant. That keeps me driven. You use any bit of motivation you can get and that's what that is. There are a lot of good keepers at Celtic and with Scotland, and that pushes everyone on. The old custodian game is a merciless trade. Strikers can miss, miss and miss again, but can always somehow redeem themselves with a late tap-in. Goalkeepers, as Loris Carius and Willie Caballero will doubtless testify, have no such means of redemption. Aside from the opposition, the only fringe benefits to be had from such calamities belong to those who are waiting in the wings. Wishing ill on arrival for a jersey, though is simply not Gordon's style. The goalies union does exist, he added. I would never wish a player in that position to do anything wrong or have a bad game. I just want to be the best I can possibly be and prove I am worth the shirt. It never comes into my head that I want the keeper to make a mistake. I just want my team to win the game. It's not hard to wish another keeper well. Yes, I'd always want to be playing, but I would still help them if I could. If I have knowledge of the opposition or a certain player, then I would pass it on to the keeper. It's about trying to get the best outcome for club or country. I want to win the game, no matter who is playing. Gordon has been through so much in his career by now and seen so many contenders off the premises that such self-assurance just comes naturally. He is 35 now, however. For a goalkeeper, that is hardly an age where they pack you off to the knacker's yard. But nor is anyone impervious to the passing of time. With each passing year, the challenge of maintaining the sky-high standards he has set does not get any easier. That's a cut-off age for some people, he smiled. They think you can pick up your pension if you get in early enough. These things can easily get written about or spoken about. But I'm just focusing on getting my body in the right shape to play at my best. If I do that, then, hopefully, I will keep any of that talk out of the press and off Twitter for as long as possible. The passing of time yields few benefits, but a greater sense of perspective is one of them. No more does the Celtic man torture himself with matters beyond his control. I can brush off criticism better now, added Gordon. I have played hundreds of games. So no matter what happens, and given where I have come from, I have had a good innings. I can accept that but I still want to play at the highest level possible. I don't want people to be talking about my age. I want them to say I'm playing better than I ever have. Perhaps his greatest accolade is the fact that his return to the professional game at Celtic in 2014 saw him reprise the kind of form he showed at Hearts and all too briefly at Sunderland. He might well have been defined by the two years he spent out of the game after a string of injuries. Instead. He has rendered them a mere footnote in his story.
There are times when I forget about what happened and I might get a bit hard on myself, reflected Gordon. So I have to remind myself that this might never have been. In a way, that spell out is a good thing for me. It is something I can use positively now to bounce back from a bad game or if something happens. I can say, well I've had a bad game, but at least I am actually playing. The trip to Austria that Celtic undertook on Monday night will have reinforced Gordon's sense of achievement. Four years ago, his arrival in the country for pre-season training suggested the worst of times were finally behind him. The rest is history. I just wanted to get back training and be in contention to play some games, he recalled. At that stage, I'd have seen 10 games or a few cup ties in a season as a success. In the end, I played nearly every game that year. It was far beyond my expectations. I couldn't have written the script better myself and it was incredible what followed. Four league titles, two Scottish Cups, three league cups and re-establishing himself as Scotland's no one suggests that might be an understatement. The bad news for the competition at club and country, though, is he's not finished yet. Not by a long chalk. I'm in my 30s and I think I've become an all-round better goalkeeper at Celtic, said Gordon. I think I have evened out my strengths and weaknesses. I feel I am reasonable in most areas and that leads to better consistency and being more reliable. It would be silly to think seasons ahead. I need to take it one year at a time. My body still feels in good shape and my performances are the same. Yes, there is no doubt you start to feel a little bit older. But I feel in good shape and if I get a good preseason under my belt, then I feel I do have a few years ahead of me. I don't really want to look too far ahead. I just want to keep performing well and keep my place. Coming back for preseason, the hunger is the same.